Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Sildos Shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you have to do here is simply go to your search bar and search up Sildos Shaders. Like so. And here you will find multiple websites. Now, the simplest way of doing this is simply by going to the CurseForge website, so curseforge.com, and clicking Sildos Vibrant Shaders. So simply click this one. And once you're on the CurseForge website, you will see Sildos Vibrant Shaders. And to download this, all you want to do is simply go to the Files tab here. And then you'll have a list of all the files, which are the shader packs that you can download. So, to explain what this is, most of these will work with the versions. Here we can see that 1.20, 1.21, we have a bunch of versions that we can choose. So, if you want in older versions, you can select these ones. If you want newer Minecraft, you can select these ones. But, they're not the same files. Here we can see we have light, medium, high, high and B extreme and extreme more extreme basically so this is volumetric lighting as well so what you want to do here is simply select the one that you want to run so you want an easier one to run or a harder one to run so we'll just take the middle one and we'll just take high so if you want just high that would be the default basically all you want to do is simply click the name of that shader pack you want now make sure it is the version that you want. It will work with all the versions, but to make it nice and simple, just make sure this is indeed the version. If you want 1.20, here it is. If you want 1.21, here it is. Just select high or very high, whatever, and you'll just see once you click this, you will be able to have more details. But the only thing we are interested in here is simply the download button. So click download here, and he will be downloading the high Sildos shaders. So here we can see we have Sildos, Vibrant Shaders, and it's the high one. So, all we need to do here is simply get something that can run shaders on Minecraft. And that will be Iris Shaders. And to get Iris Shaders, you need to simply go to a new tab, and you want to search up Iris Shaders, like so. Now, you should see a website called irisshaders.dev. Simply click on Iris Shaders, and now you're on the homepage on Iris Shaders. All you want to do is go to download now and then you want to go and download Universal Jar. So now we have Iris Installer and Sildos Vibrant Shaders 1.21, which is the high one. So now what we need to do is actually do one thing that this is not for everyone if it already works for you, because here we have a .jar file. And if you don't have Java for Windows installed, you will not be able to run Iris Installer. And what is Java for Windows? Well, it is simply JDK 23. There is different versions of Java that also works, but this one is just nice and simple. I will have this in the description if you need it. But it is simply just a website which has the possibility of you having Java onto your computer. It is not Minecraft Java, it is just Java. So here we can see we have JDK 23. And if we select Windows, we will be able to download this one here. So simply go on the website, go down to JDK 23, select Windows and pick the middle option as it's nice and easy. So there you go. That's how you get Java on Windows if you cannot run Iris install. Although if you can run anything, just close your web browser. If you can run it already, no problem. Now what you want to do is simply open up your downloads folder like so. And if you don't see anything here, it's just because you have a different default directory for your web, like downloads, but here, for most of you guys, you will be inside your downloads folder. So, what you want to do here is double-click Iris Installer after you have, of course, Java installed, and you can select the game version if you want, you can select Iris, or if you want to have the possibility to add mods, you can do Iris with Fabric, and you can just do Install. And now that it's all done, you can close the installer, and then you can open up your Minecraft launcher. So, once the Minecraft launcher will be opened, we will be able to check if we have Iris, and then we'll be able to add 
the Sildus shaders. So here we can see we have Ibis, so that's step one, all good. And that means we can go to installations, and then we can go and hover over Ibis here, and then go to the folder icon. Now, what you want to do is find shader packs, and then you want to double click on shader packs. Now, you want to go to your downloads folder, you want to click here and copy Sildus Vibrant Shaders, and now you want to go back to your PS folder, where you'll be able to paste it. Now, what you can do is make sure you have done Minecraft, Shader Packs, and Sildus Shaders. And if you do, simply go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Iris and Sodium is selected, and then click play. Okay. So. Once Minecraft has loaded up, we can see we have Minecraft 1.1.4 and all we want to do is go to a realm server or single player world. I'll just do single player and then we will need to activate our shader if we did not use it just before. So here we can see that we don't have any shaders and that's normal. All we want to do is just escape, options, video settings, shader packs and then you want to click on Sildes Vibrant Shaders. And then you want to do apply. And that's how we activate Silder Shaders for Minecraft. So yeah, in today's video I showed you how to get Silder Shaders for Minecraft Java in 2025. So if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!